Okay, this has been soaking now for about 10 minutes. Uh, so we're going to take them out probably one at a time just to bend them. Okay, and we don't need to bend them all the way around to the end because of the, the end block, but we'll do it just like a centimeter or so from the end. And bend them carefully because they're a little bit thicker. Uh, sometimes they can snap, and so that's looking good. And bring our mold into play. Well, it's been a week now and the ribs are now dry, they've, they've set in their shape. We can now cut them to size and glue the blocks and linings on. This jig is the same size um, that I need the ribs to be. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to just chop off the excess here and the excess here. I'm going to use a Japanese saw to trim this off. Okay. So I'm using the mold and I'm just going to saw off straight across. And the same again on this side. The nice thing about, thing about Japanese saws is that they're pull saws, so they um, there's very little pressure needed to actually s s to make a saw cut. Just making sure it's going to tear the wood. Okay. Okay, before we, we glue our ribs in, we need to check we've got our spacer. And we have shaped our end block. The end block has been shaped on a, on a, a disc sander. And you can see it's got a slight curve at the bottom which matches the, the mold. I've drawn the center line in so I can match up the, the center line on the, on the mold. Okay, so we take out our ribs. Now there's a bit of spring back, but not too much. Um, in the wrong. Okay, I'm going to just hold this in place with a stick for now. Yeah, I've just used the stick um, to hold the, the two sides apart for now. Um, we probably won't need them once we've got the end block in. Type bond is the one I would recommend to use. Um, either type bond one or type bond two, either is fine for what we're doing. Okay, so we're just going to apply adhesive. Um, I'm just using my finger applicator this time. But what I may do is put a little bit more on. And just put a little bit extra on here as well. Okay. Should be good. We'll put that in position. Oh, we're going to get to our clamp.
Um, we're going to remove um, one layer of mould, one layer of the mould, and so. Does it? Just, just one. Okay. So take out the dowels as well. Okay. Um, so that we can get our clamps around on the linings. Okay, this is the lining, it's slightly oversized. So what we're going to do, we're going to take our saw and just gradually, okay, we we're just going to go for a dry fit first of all. Um, and again, on this side over here, and this side here, the same again, we're just going to... Now the linings at this side are only going to be roughly cut to size. We'll cut them to size properly when we glue the, the stick in place. Okay. Right. That's one. And the next one, same again. So we're just looking at the curve, look at the shape of the tail block, I've, ang I've angled it, so we need to angle the saw cut as well. Um. Okay, okay, so we place the lining up against the, the side. Um, you can either mark it on with a pencil first. And we give it a saw. Okay. That should butt up against there. 